Welcome to the Clayton Open Source DEX Testnet demo. In this short presentation, we will give you an overview of the functions available, show you how to get test tokens, then provide a brief rundown of each section on the DEX. To participate in this testnet, you will need a wallet extension, such as MetaMask, configured to use the Clayton Baobab testnet. Let's jump right in. First of all, connect your wallet of choice. We will be using MetaMask. To get test tokens, navigate to the Baobab testnet faucet and paste your wallet address in the field. You will be able to receive 150 test clay every 24 hours. Here is a quick overview of the decentralized exchange components. We have implemented an assets overview page, a trade interface with the option to swap or provide liquidity, the earn interface with pools and farms, as well as a decentralized democracy page called Voting. Within the Voting view, you can toggle between active and expired proposals. Your one-stop source of data in the DEX is the chart section. Here you will find a list of transactions and operations, tokens, as well as an LP index and TVL graphs. If you click on any asset, you will find specific data for each token, as well as the pools with the most liquidity for this token. Each pool also has a list of transactions within them linked to the Clayton Scope Block Explorer. Let's use the swapping function within the DEX you can swap any pairs that have liquidity pools available. Depending on the pool or token, there might not be a direct path for the swap you want to make. In this case, you can toggle the multi-hop option. Remember, you need to have enough funds in your wallet, otherwise you will get a warning. Depositing liquidity will reward you with KDEX tokens. Once you have approved the token you want to pool, all you have to do is decide how many tokens to provide and sign the transaction. You will immediately begin to accrue rewards in the form of KDEX tokens. KDEX tokens are quite useful. You can stake them in different pools and receive specific rewards based on the pool you staked. KDEX tokens are especially useful in democracy functions. Let's take a look at what you can do. Creating a proposal is very easy. All you have to do is name your proposal, provide the options for responses, in this case we will make a proposal with basic voting, and then decide the start and end parameters. Let's go ahead and vote. As you can see, 
The vote has failed because there is no power allocated to my vote yet. To determine voting power, navigate to About, copy and paste your wallet address into this field, and wait for it to calculate your voting power based on the amount of KDEX you hold. Once this is done, you can successfully vote on any proposal. Finally, let's stake some KDEX tokens. You need to sign a transaction allowing the use of your KDEX for staking. Once you have done that, stake any amount of tokens you like. The stake available, as well as the stake provided, will appear in the liquidity section after you have refreshed. That is all for this tutorial. We hope you enjoy the DEX functions that we have built and that you test them diligently. Please report any issues or bugs that you have encountered with some visual support such as a screenshot, and if possible, list the steps for it to be reproduced. On behalf of the Soramitsu team, thank you for your support.